What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit differently here on the channel. We're going to be running through every single WWE Elite action figure that is blue. Yes, you heard that correctly. We're going to run through every Elite figure that is blue. This can help people with customizing. If you need a figure that has blue tights, if you need a figure that has a lot of blue on it, you know, you want to make a custom or something of that nature and you need it to be blue, well this video will help you out as well as other things. If you're just wondering or you just, I don't know, you just want to be in entertained and want to know how many figures there are that are blue we're going to break it down here today and we're going to run through all of them and we're just going to tell you the series we're going to tell you the figure and show it off to you guys and see what you guys think guys so let's go ahead and get started with every wwe elite figure that is blue all right, guys, starting things off first, we don't have a figure that's mainly blue, but it is the Elite One MVP, one of the first Elite series, and it is MVP. It's mostly black, but it does have blue, and I did want to include it. Next up, guys, we have Elite Series 2, Randy Orton. Same thing with MVP. You know, it has a black base, but it does have the blue accents, and I figured you might as well call this blue because it has blue designs and everything like that, so I did want to include it right here. Next up, we have a more modern figure, and it is the Elite 2-Pack AJ Styles featured with the Elite 2-Pack with Finn Balor. You guys know we've seen this figure many times, so you'll probably see a figure that is very similar to this in this video. Next is the Elite 3 Santino Morella, and it is half blue and half black, but I did want to include it here. You know, it's mainly blue and everything like that, so Santino is included in this video. Our next figure, guys, is the Elite Four Chris Jericho, and this actually is the variant because there is a purple version, but we did have a blue version, so I had to take note of that when I was making this video. So, to, so I did include Chris Jericho here in Elite Series 4. Also in Elite Series 4 is this Big Show, and while underneath I think it's a black singlet, it does come with this cloth singlet that is a dual-tone blue, so I had to include it even though it is a cloth singlet. I'd still call this a blue figure. We have the Elite 6 CM Punk, which is a very rare figure. I love this figure to death. I think it looks very nice, and CM Punk will be in this video a couple times but his first elite was elite or his first elite was elite one but this is elite six we have the elite 11 miz which i do own and i got this figure brand new in packaging and it, it is a very nice figure i would love to make an updated miz with it just because that blue color is so freaking nice we have the elite 13 edge very rare figure i think this figure literally goes for 30 to 40 dollars nowadays because it's the only flashback elite edge we've gotten but very nice blue color on this figure next up guys we have the elite 15 sin Cara. what a beautiful looking figure as well you can make really cool customs with this using the thighs and this blue color is really beautiful it's got the light color going on and it has like you know more of a teal same thing with this kelly kelly which is elite series 17 very very nice figure indeed it's got like the it's, it's like a more mint green but it does have blue in it so i wanted to include it here today we also have the next elite 20 santino morello which is a little bit different than his first figure you know his first figure had boots and stuff this one has wrestling shoes blue knee pads a lot more blue than his first figure Next is the Elite 20 CM Punk, which again, we just covered the Elite 6 CM Punk, and this one is pretty nice as well. He's got his nice cut going on. He's got his uh, his blue and red trunks going on. We have the Elite 25 Bruno San Martino looking pretty good. Pretty plain figure, but it is included here, and it's just basic blue trunks, man. You had to include it because it's blue. Next up, guys, we have the Elite 28 Big Show, and this one's mainly got some black going on, but it does have the blue camo, the blue stripes, and the blue boots, so I figured it would count as a blue figure, so I wanted to include the Elite 28 Big Show. We have probably the bluest figure on this list, and it is the Elite 33 Batista. You got the vest, you have the sleeves, the trunks, knee pads, sleeves, and shoes, all blue. It's called Blue Tista for a reason. Next is the Elite 35 Randy Orton, probably the best looking Randy Orton figure as far as attire that we have ever gotten, guys. It's just so clean. It looks so good. I love the black and white. I think this is from Payback or something like that. I can't remember, but Elite 35 doesn't end because it comes with Elite 35 Earthquake, who also has blue tights and blue boots, which is a nice blue figure for Earthquake. We have the Elite 41 Ryback figure. It's got feast mode on the front there. A lot of blue accessories. You got the blue elbow pads, blue knee pads. You have blue and orange going on. That's a really nice contrast for him. We have the Elite 41 1 2 3 Kid again, and it's not like a you know a harsh blue, it's a lighter blue. Nice sky blue going on with this 1 2 3 Kid, and it looks pretty freaking nice as well. Really like the attire on him. We have the Elite 42 Xavier Woods, which is the first Xavier Woods we ever gotten, and it did come with our first Elite New Day set, so you guys are going to see them all three in a row here. First, starting off, we have Elite 42 Woods, we have Elite 43 Kofi, who is a great figure for customization, and uh, the, the lower legs are very nice for this figure, and then for Elite 44, we do have the Elite 44 Big E, and he is matching up nicely with his brothers there, so all three of them are in blue, black, and white, and it's mainly blue, so obviously we had to include them all here with the New Day in their Elite set. 
Up next, we have Elite 47 Tatanka, and this one looks like it's brown and blue, but underneath his little brown thing there around his waist is blue trunks, sort of like San, uh, Bruno San Martino that we saw earlier in the video. Next up, guys, we do have Elite 51 Berserker, and this one has blue trunks. No, yeah, I think he has black trunks underneath, but the main attire is blue here, and it's a different shade. We haven't seen this. Not as saturated, more of a cooler color blue. Next up, guys, we have a navy blue figure, and is the Elite 53 Heath Slater. Looking pretty good. A lot of colors going on, but the main trunks are blue, uh, even though it's a navy color. And the next figure is also that navy color. It, it look, kind of looks black in these pictures, but it is Elite 53 Miz, and it is more of a navy blue color, but it is looking pretty good here with the Miz. Next up, guys, we have our first, our second female elite here, and it is the Elite 54 Charlotte. She has the beautiful robe going on, beautiful blue attire in that nice-looking color there with Elite 54 Charlotte figure. Next up is our first blue AJ Styles. If you don't include the two-pack that we saw at the beginning of the video, we have Elite 56 AJ Styles before they gave us a good head scan. Or well, At the time, the head scan was good, but they didn't give us knee pads and stuff like that. Next up is the Elite 58 Mickey James, another women's figure coming in hot. And it does have the lighter blue color with the pink on the accents. And we have not seen Mickey James in forever, Jesus Christ. Next is the Elite 59 Kurt Angle looking beautiful. I love this figure to death. Red, white, and blue looking great like America. Kurt Angle, just a fantastic figure. And you know he had to be blue here in Elite Series 59. Elite 61, guys, we do have Fandango. And you guys know he's one half of the Fashion Police. So you guys already know what the next figure is going to be. But he does have the royal blue pants going on here with Fandango. And of course, his tag team partner, Tyler Breeze, looks very fantastic in his long blue tights. I made a Kenny Omega out of these legs. So that's kind of what this video is about is getting parts and making other figures based off of the blue that you get with all these different figures. Next is the Elite 62 Dude Love looking great with his blue pants, blue shirt, and all of the tie-dye stuff going on in his t-shirt. Very nice Dude Love figure that we finally got from Mattel. We have the Elite 64 Kurt Kurt, I almost said Kurt Angle, Kurt Hawkins in the blue and orange attire looking very good, looking like Ryback from Elite Series 41 with the blue and orange going on, New York Mets in the house. We have the Elite Walmart exclusive Bob Backlund. I can't remember if this is Elite 65 or something, but he does have royal blue trunks and royal blue knee pads looking pretty good for Bob Backlund. We have another Kurt Angle Elite, guys, and it is the Elite 66 Kurt Angle figure looking good. Again, it's Kurt Angle, so you know it's going to be red, white, and blue. It's going to be American themed, and that is what we got going on with Elite 66. Six. Elite 67 is the Chase variant Jeff Hardy with the blue, black, and blue, black, and white. The blue sleeves with the red, white, and blue face paint for America. Obviously, the U.S. champion looking great. And then we have the regular version, which is also blue, but it is different. It's got lighter blues and darker blues and black and white tones going through it. And he even has blue in his face paint. So this Jeff Hardy figure is very, very nice. We have Elite Series 68 Daniel Bryan in the Seattle Seahawks themed colors. And one of their colors is blue, even though this is a little more lighter blue. It's more of a throwback Seattle Seahawks. I still like this figure a lot in the blue. We have the Elite 70 Johnny Gargano, and I was hesitant about putting this figure in because it's mainly, you know, it's got black going on, but I felt like there was a lot of blue going on, so I did want to include it here in the video. Elite 70 Gargano. Finishing up Elite 70 is Vince McMahon in his blue suit and blue undershirt. You know, it's not mainly blue, but I figured I could include it here today. You have the blue jacket with the gray pants on the bottom for Vince McMahon. We have the most recent figure on this list, and it is the Elite 72 Velveteen Dream. And I don't think a lot of people like this figure, and I don't either, but it does have blue. So I had to include it here today in the video. We have the TN, not TNF, what is it? The, I can't remember what, the Fan Central Elite Akira Tozawa, a very light blue color, but it is blue. So we have blues ranging from all sorts of different shades here in this video. We have the Defining Moments Elite. Sting figure with the Great American Bash with the American flag on the jacket and the royal blue red and white tights going on with the white boots for this figure. We have the first Defining Moments Ric Flair in the light blue trunks with the royal blue and light blue knee pads and royal blue boots. And we do have two different Defining Moments Ric Flairs as you guys see there. And then the other one that we have is very similar but instead of a black robe we get a royal blue robe so a lot more blue going on and the trunks were royal blue so it's very similar but they are a little bit different. And the next figure we have is the Entrance Grits, Kurt Angle, guys. And this one, again, Kurt Angle, three for three for his figures in this video. And it is all blue, red, and white, which makes sense because he was an Olympic gold medalist, man. We have Paul Orndorff, which is a Legends figure. Very expensive figure, very hard figure to track down. But he is looking good in his royal blue knee pads, boots, and trunks. 
The next figure that we do have, guys, is Mr. Perfect, another Legends figure that is pretty hard to track down. I used to own this figure, and it does have that light blue, sky blue color going on with some black on the back. With the white boots looking very clean as Mr. Perfect, we have Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I think this is another a Legends figure. A lot of Legends figures came in blue, and this is another one of those. And right here, it looks good with his blue trunks. A lot of figures just have blue trunks, man. What is up with that? We have an Iron Sheik figure, which is in long blue uh, pants, which looks good. I love the Iron Sheik, so I, I freaking love this figure. I wish I had this figure. I know you used to be able to get it for cheap on, like, Chinese websites. We have another Legends Iron Sheik here. So this is our third Iron Sheik that we have had, not in this video, but overall. And it's not the longer tights. It is the shorter, like, uh, biker trunks going on. We have a Sergeant Slaughter Elite Legends figure in the blue pants, and uh, he does have a white top on there, but he does have his blue pants, so he had to be included here today in this video. Next up, guys, we have the Network Spotlight Shawn Michaels, which is a lighter blue, and this one looks so good. I love this figure to death. I'm not big on the head scan, but it's still a really nice Shawn Michaels figure with the blue, black, and white going on with it. We have the Network Spotlight Finn Balor, which is such a beautiful figure from NXT TakeOver Dallas. You have the Royal Blue, the Red, the Black, something he's never really done ever before with the Demon, and he hasn't done it since, so that's pretty cool. We have the two NXT Elites for uh, the Target Exclusive Revival, and they are blue, but they are in that navy blue, so they are much darker than any other blue we've seen here today, besides the Elite 53 Miz. We have the NXT Elite Target Exclusive Bailey in the first wave, and she is in her blue and yellow, and nowadays she is, uh, she's She's heel now, so this is a totally different figure that we have seen from her. We have the Retro Fest Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Very similar to his first Elite, except he is wearing a singlet instead of just, the, you know, the regular trunks. So Hacksaw Jim Duggan, two for two on his figures being blue. We have the Honk Tonk Man, and underneath this, not only this blue jumpsuit, but we do have a blue, uh, I think it's like light blue tights that are underneath this. So Honky Tonk Man looks pretty good there with his guitar and everything. We have the Target exclusive Rocky Maivia figure, another very light blue figure. You get the light blue and uh, royal blue going on on his little neck brace thing and you do have the lighter blue on his elbow pads and wrist tape. We have another lighter blue figure which is the ringside exclusive Chris Jericho which looks really really good and it does have some gold and black in there. Very nice figure. One of my favorite figures even though the head scan's not too good. Another ringside exclusive guys is the ringside exclusive American made Hulk Hogan which is another light blue on the boots. Another lighter blue on the trunks and then you do have the blue in the t-shirt but it is mainly colored blue here. We have the Survivor Series AJ Styles Elite Walmart exclusive figure. No knee pads here, but this one is probably his bluest figure. You get the blue accessories, blue kick pads, blue gloves. Very blue figure going on here. We have the new Survivor Series Elite Shinsuke Nakamura, which has not hit retail, I don't think, just yet, but it is coming soon, so definitely be on the lookout for this figure, as it should be hitting very, very soon. Even though it has black pants, still wanted to include it. We have the TNF Elite American Alpha with Chad Gable, and he looks really good. Blue camo going on. It's not mainly blue, but I still wanted to include it. It has a lot of blue. I'd say it's probably half and half, which you still have going on here with his NXT tag team partner, Jason Jordan, which looks good. So both of these figures are really nice, and they both include blue, so I had to include them here with the NXT championships. Next up, we have another TNF, but it is Series 1 with Tyler Breeze and the navy blue and light blue. So they went with one end of the spectrum and the other end of the spectrum to pair together the two blue colors. We have the WrestleMania Elite Jack Swagger with the Money in the Bank briefcase. One of my favorite figures. I love this figure to death. You have the red, white, and blue going on. Just such a good looking figure nowadays. And then finally, guys, we have the last figure that I think, and it is the WrestleMania Elite Rey Mysterio in the light blue, silver, and black, which looks so good with the tiger stripes. But I think that is every single blue WWE Elite action figure. I could be wrong. There could be some figures I'm missing. I know. What about the Elite New Day set, which was like Elite Series? what was it like 60 61 62 or at least 60 and 61 with Kofi Biggie and Xavier Woods in the America attire I didn't know if I wanted to include them because they do have red and white going on in the tights as well but I don't know let me know down in the comment section below uh, elite 12 Justin Gabriel is another figure that probably could have been included here today and I'm sure I missed out on some other so if I did miss out on some other elite figures I'm not talking about basics here we're talking about elites that are blue if I did miss out on some guys please let me know down in the comment section below and let me know if you enjoyed the series you know if you want me to run through you know what's the next color you want me to do I would love to do it and this is actually going to help myself out when I'm making customs in the future I can go back and watch my own video to see you know exactly what figure I would need to you know make customs and stuff but 
Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, let me know down in the comment section below what color you would like to see next. And I apologize if the video was like rambly, but you know, I wanted to fit all of them in here. And we're already almost at the 15 minute mark. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys. Let me know what color you want to see next. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.